Maybe I should start going to restaurants, finally. No, maybe I should start shopping, like go to local mall and shop, buy some new clothes, a lot of it. That will help the economy, right? Hey guys, while I really want our economy to recover, I really do not want or cannot spend more than my budget. And at this these times, many people, they just cannot spend more money than usual. I mean, most people are trying to spend less because they gotta survive, right? So without spending more money, how can we help our economy to get better? So while I never went to restaurants before, when the times were good, I'm not about to start doing it now. So here are the things that we can do uh, without spending any extra more money that we usually spend and still help our economy. The first thing we can do, doesn't cost you anything, is try not to get sick. Try not to catch the virus. And if you do get it, try not to spread it to other people this way. You know, because all this, um, recession started because of the virus because of the this flu stuff and if less people will get sick the faster we can get back to normal number two try to buy things that are made in USA if possible um, if we're buying the things that are made here we're helping our economy and if we're buying the things that are made in China we're helping China economy <laughs> number three try to buy your um, the things you buy from local businesses or people instead of like big um, chain stores like Walmart, Target and others um, that probably getting their goods imported from other countries. Like if you need to buy some fruits and vegetables, try to buy some maybe at your local farm, farmer's market or maybe in, from somebody in your neighborhood. So the money you spend are going to people who actually live here instead of going to other countries like maybe Mexico or Chile where we get some of our produce from. Also number four, if you like your community, if you love your place you, where you live, uh, do not participate in any um, rioting and looting because first of all this is a crime. Second of all, this is kind of like going and setting your living room on fire, you know, it's just, it's just stupid. I also believe all these protests will make it harder for um, our businesses around to reopen. First of all, because many of them are shutting down, they just open and they have to shut down and like um, cover their windows from, so they wouldn't get broken and they just... You know, like going to downtown is just dangerous place, you know, like, and that got, got kind of scary because we live like, what, 15 minutes away from downtown here, even though we kind of live in the rural area of the city, but it's like really close to downtown still. And all this protesting, people being close to each other and holding hands and all that, if even one person in that crowd is sick, this will potentially expose the whole crowd and we might get another wave of sickness, meaning another wave of uh, lockdown again, That's which is gonna, like we were finally getting recovered, trying to recover, it's gonna take us back to like middle of March again, like what happened again. Number five, be a responsible person and pay your bills on time. If you're using electricity, pay your electric bill on time. If you are renting a place, pay your rent on time. I know there's been like lots of uh, extensions and whatever they called, like you, you can, they cannot evict you, but this is still your responsibility to pay for the things you actually agreed to buy or to use like whatever services you're using and you agree to pay for it, you still have to pay for it. Maybe not maybe not right away, but eventually this is still your responsibility to pay for it. There's no such thing as free rent. So like if you don't, let's say you don't pay your utilities bill on time and if uh, most of their customers don't pay their bills, uh, their bill on time, 
what a company is gonna do not not to pay their workers so even more people will um, be without a job I mean that's not gonna make economy any better if that happens so by paying your bills on time you're actually helping uh, the businesses run more smoothly so to um, we'll still gonna receive all our services on time people are still gonna have their jobs and still gonna get paid so they can keep spending more money and stimulate the economy again number six is be generous and share I'm not saying like take out money of your savings and go just give it to everybody no that's that's it's not like a stimulus you're not the government who can give away the stimulus checks right you're not a millionaire probably if you're watching my videos <laughs> but maybe there are things that you have too much of or the things you don't don't need anymore and instead of just throwing them away like something often I have uh, stuff from like that my kids don't need or want anymore maybe some clothes they outgrown or some things they just some toys they, they don't care about for I just give it away to the other people I mean if it's something big like that I can sell for more than like 20 30 dollars I'll try to do that but if it's some small things like a few pair of uh, pants or something I'm just gonna give it away for free I often set a box uh, by the end of my driveway and put a free sign on it so whoever wants to, wants it they can take it because that saves me time not to having to take it to goodwill that's number one and that doesn't create more trash and I'm getting rid of the things I don't want anymore number seven is to become more self-reliant I'm not saying you have to like only eat the food that you can grow in your backyard and have your own electricity like many people are trying to do this would be too hard and um, that would be hard to do and then if you have all that you probably wouldn't have a um, time to uh, go to work <laughs> if you do all that so but um, try to uh, be able to live like there's no extra um, handouts like like um, some people if there would be no stimulus checks some people would not be able to pay their bills like also if the store the grocery stores would close down or they would be just too crowded to go to be able to go there some people um, would not be able to have food that's too dangerous to live like that right so and um, well I don't know it might not be bad for the economy if like all of a sudden everybody will try to go buy groceries or whatever but again being in the crowd and being with, with around angry people because they cannot get the stuff they want is is like is dangerous because not only it can spread disease it also also can uh, create some crime <laughs> so if you're able to have some um, food in your house where you if you don't if you if it's too dangerous to go outside you don't have to leave your house and I even though like last two years that I wasn't planting my garden because I was too busy this year I'm planting my garden and you saw it in some videos just because I want to make sure I have some some food uh, in my backyard some fresh food not just like something frozen or dehydrated while it's it's okay to like if you're eligible for uh, stimulus or food stamps or other um, free help it, it's okay to take it but like if if they wouldn't be available for whatever reason you still will be able to survive because I don't know that's like too too dangerous like I cannot I'm just I just cannot rely on anybody else more than myself it's do I do I just like trust myself more than maybe somebody else who trying to help me I don't know but it's like it's it's less stressful if you know that you have that you can some provide for yourself instead of like waiting on somebody else to give you stuff and what if they decide they're not gonna give it to you anymore and it's like what do you, what do you do then so it's like you know like all these homeless people are relying on other people to give them food and money and like all charities to give them stuff 
what if those charities would not be available anymore? How would they survive? They would probably like just starve. And maybe that's like the main reason most people don't want to be homeless because that's like too, too um, unsecure. <laughs> also, I see lots of posts sometimes on social, on social media, people are like um, posting something that uh, they're adulting and like taking care of their finances and stuff which is good but those people are like in their 30s and 40s and they're still adulting I'm like at that age you should have your kids that already adulting and then not you I mean you should you should have been and become became an adult 20 years ago you know and you shouldn't be finally adulting at at the age of 30 something right and the number eight probably the most important one is if you don't have a job right now for whatever reason you sh and uh, you need money <laughs> get the job <laughs> or um, this is or get a side hustle or something or um, just do something that can uh, support your family and you know and have some income for you also the best way um, the best somebody can do is actually to create a business like to have a job for themselves and maybe this will also create a jobs for other people they can hire that would be like the best um, situation but I realize not a lot of people can do that I mean they don't know I mean I personally don't know how to do that so but if somebody can do that if more people can do that where they can not only provide the job for themselves but also hire more people to provide the job for themselves for the for them that would be really good so but not too many people can do it I realize that so if you have any ideas what else can we do to support our economy without spending more money than we are used to spending um, please leave down your comments below because if we all do at least something to help uh, not only our economy but help um, our own finances and our own stability and being able to support ourselves that would create a better situation for everybody so thank you guys so much for watching and i'm gonna film my garden to show you that those tomatoes that they were that were dying in the last video <laughs> they're all getting better now but we had really bad winds um in the last two days we still have a wind now and one of my tomatoes kind of like uh, got knocked over so um as soon as i get home i'm gonna go see if it survived remember my little tomatoes that were like almost dying that i planted from um just uh, the suckers see here they are they're still not looking perfect but they're gonna survive oh, this one i planted um a little bit before that that's the that are kind of damaged looking but they will survive here's more see this one's doing really good oh this one's really good this is the blueberry and the blackberry that i replanted yeah more tomatoes so this is mint so and the scale Somebody told me to use, oh, I forgot what this, I have to look it up, but it's doing much better now. Um, yeah, these tomatoes are tiny, but they're doing fine. If you want to know what they looked like a week ago, go watch my last video before this one. They looked like they were, they were gonna die. My watermelons are getting huge, they're like taking over the space and the other one too uh, for these ones I put the steaks in and yeah they got bigger and for the peppers I put tomato cages they're also getting bigger um, I have one tomato that's getting almost ripe this one right here oh I think I'll harvest it tomorrow almost ready cucumbers are getting a little 
flowers. Uh, this one has. Let's see what happens. This huge winds. This one has to be trained. to get a um, rope to prop it up oh what happened to this one oh they're they're growing faster than I can keep up with them as I can hopefully are you okay yep she's okay yes there you go mission accomplished it's your new parrot Yes, everyone says. It's Careful, so she doesn't lay egg on your shoulder. <laughs> oh no, if she lays an egg, you know, a little bit. Break. Take my leaf of truth. That's it's Gabby. A leaf of truth. Thanks. Yeah. Leaf of truth. He's funny. You just. <laughs> chicken is happy. I see. I seen this meme that was like yeah. this guy who keeps doing that. Ah 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 Chicken laugh. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> the chicken laugh. Chicken's laughing. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> you're so cute. I told the joke and the chicken was like... <laughs> you're so cute. I'm a monkey! You're not a monkey! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>